Alrighty guys, bringing you an update video here today, and this is going to be on how to update your Astro A50 headset. There was an update released for this guy on the 16th of August, so just about a week ago, and a few people have been having some issues installing this update, so let me go over a few things here. First thing you're going to want to do is go to astrogaming.com slash firmware, and uh, let's just go down here. This is what the page will look like for you. I have the A50 headset pushed up top. Uh, down at the bottom, there'll be a Mac download and a PC download. Go ahead and click whatever one applies to yourself. Uh, go through the install steps. Once you get that done, go ahead and plug in your mix amp to your computer and then your headset into the mix amp. The power light should be on. Don't worry about the Dolby Digital. Open up the internet browser and it should take you to a page that'll say, welcome to the Astro um, like live help page, something or another. Uh, and it actually updates itself through uh, a tab on your uh, internet browser. I'm using Mozilla Firefox right now. And as you can see, it says Mixamp 5.8 detected and the A50 wireless headphones detected as well. And it says uh, firmware version 2221 on the Mixamp and there's an update available. I'm gonna go ahead and click update on it and update device. Okay, go ahead and st start and it's updating the device there pretty quickly. doesn't take too long at all. Go ahead and wait for that guy to finish. And almost there. I guess in the meantime, I'll kind of talk about, uh, if you don't know, the A50 did have uh, a few problems from the from the factory and everything. And that was mainly stuff along the lines of audio dropping out, um, different type of stuff like that. And uh, it what would happen is like Xbox Live and everything like that, uh, it would like the chat volume would go up and down or there'd be connection issues altogether. Uh, and the main one was there'd be audio. The audio would actually drop out on the headset every about five minutes just for about a second or so. It, it kind of got annoying uh, and frustrating and everything like that. But the chat issues and the audio, audio drop were the main things that um, were, I guess, the problems with the headset from the original factory update. But going back here, you will have to repair the transmitter to the A50s. And I've never done this before, so it'll be doing to be as well. Um, the, until it blinks white. Okay, so hold the power button until it blinks white. Okay. Uh, hold the power button on the A50 until it also blinks white and then release. The A50 is now in pairing mode. And if you go up there, holding it down, it's blinking white. There we go. Pairing is confirmed by both devices when LEDs are solid white for three seconds. And they already went Back to that, when pairing is complete, both A50 and TX power buttons will turn red, which red, and that one's orange up there, just because it's charging, the battery's not uh, completely dead, so it should either be orange or red on your guys's. And done with this guy, go ahead and hit OK. And time for to update the headset, so go ahead and hit update on the headset. Update device, start, and it's starting the download again, so that's really about it, guys. Um, I guess the big thing that maybe some people didn't know is that you actually had to update or open up an internet page to get the uh, get the devices to update because it's run through a, a page hosted on Astro's website. I suppose it's not an actual like physical program that is downloaded to your computer. Um, it is like a four megabyte file, so you will get like a little shortcut listed, and you can install that on the desktop and everything. I didn't. I just downloaded it. Um, there's probably not going to be too many other updates out for this guy. Uh, they did say that they would allow. Um, people to create their own firmwares for it, not necessarily firmwares, but sound profiles and stuff like that that you could use. And um, it looks like again here with the update, I'm gonna have to repair them. Um, and let's see here, if we remember it right, hold down the power button on this guy until it blinks white. Hold down the power button up here until it blinks white. And they're blinking white, both of them. And they'll go solid, solid, maybe. Maybe not. Mm. That guy's red, and he's still going up top there. Um. Well, not really sure what the heck the deal is on that guy. Go ahead and hold this guy down again here until it blinks white. And hopefully, oh, there they go. Now they're both solid and back to normal. So don't really know what happened there. I guess if it happens to you guys, if the headset continues to blink white, go ahead and hold down the power button on the uh, mix amp and it should uh, resolve itself and be all good to go. 
So that update is done. Go ahead and hit OK. And Mixam 5.8 connected version 2855. And the A50 headset itself should be version 2856. And if it reads those numbers right there for you, your headset is up to date. So I hope that helped you out, guys. Um, if you do get any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Till next time, take it easy.